welcome back guys today we will be continuing graph theory so today first we will learn length of a walk so let me write the definition the number of edges in the walk is called the length of a walk so suppose for example we have something a walk like this v1 e1 v2 e3 v4 v7 e5 v5 so the number of edges in a walk so 1 2 3 so the length of the walk will be 3 now open walk so if the initial and initial vertex and terminal vertex or final vertex are different then the walk is called then the walk is called open walk open walk and in for for that and if the initial and final initial or terminal vertex are same then the walk will be then the walk is called a closed walk so what we mean is like this suppose we have a word walk like this v1 e1 v2 e3 v4 v5 e5 v5 e6 v7 so here we see that the v initial and the terminal vertex are different so it will be an open walk and for and similarly suppose we have something like this in between this and the terminal vertex is also a is also v1 so we can say that it is a closed walk the closed walk will represent physically it will represent a cycle cycle or closed loop so now next we will move on to circuit a closed trail is called a circuit and we know what a trail is a trail is a walk in which no edge is repeated so no edge is repeated this is a circuit a clo this will be a circuit no need to write for that and cycle a closed path is called a cycle so for a cycle we know the definition of cycle is a closed path for is called a cycle and you know as a path is a path is a no repetition of vertices so this will be a path cycle so for cycle let me write like this v1 e1 v2 diagram by i will draw a graph like this This is what I want to show. V1, E1, V2. As this as a whole is E1. No. V1, V3, V4, V5, V6. So E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7. Suppose now for a cycle, it will be from V1. It will start and it will go on like this and it will end on this suppose this is v7 so this will be a cycle so thanks for watching it do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you